Right, it's time for a Shivana game. Uh, I will be playing this one against an Evelyn with Conqueror, apparently. Sure, I guess. Um, must have been uh, forgetting to switch runes, I would, I would imagine, at least. Welcome. But yeah, this is going to be a Diamond 4 rated game. Some of people are Diamond 3, but you guys are aware of the uh, situation going on. Playing some Shiv here, we're going to be playing with the uh, Bruiser builds in this one. So, you know, see how that turns out. I'll show you how to play it, uh, what to look for on Shivana. Very, like, strong, strong Shivana build, for sure. Uh, it's the only downside about Shivana, really, like, when it comes to playing her, is just the fact that you need to, for either build setup, whether you're going for the Bruisery AP build or the full AP build, you need that item. That first item is your power spike. The moment you get that first item, it's fine. You're chilling. Uh, but you have to get there, and that is important. If I got no leash, that's okay. I'm gonna start topside. I'd like to start topside usually on Shivana because it allows you to clear topside down. Um, and then on the second rotation of your clear, you can catch three camps and then do a dragon basically as the dragon spawns. And that's obviously pretty ideal. If the enemy jungler loses any type of tempo towards that, they will simply just, you know, not get the dragon, not get the contested dragon because they're usually clearing in the other direction anyway. So we're kind of chilling there. And this way, also, we don't get counter jungle for it. Start with E, it's the biggest damage on the initial camp, and just make sure you land your auto attacks. i drag it up slightly. Make sure to not lose any auto attacks, or at least bare minimum auto attack timing. Smite there, take the W. On the other side, you have the option of uh, taking Q if you want, but yeah. Have I said what ELO this game was? I am so forgetful right now. This is Diamond 4, Diamond 3. While I'm at it, I guess I might as well say that uh, more than half the people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you are enjoying the content, a subscription would be greatly appreciated. If you are already subscribed, hitting the like button also helps. And uh, yeah, with that being said, we move into the game, I suppose. I have definitely not forgotten to set anything now. All right, so Raptors, and then we'll look for bot side. It is essential on Shivana that you go for a full clear. You need that XP. It's really necessary for you to get the XP. Because uh, hitting levels is important. Hitting level six, 6 is especially huge. That's an early death, unfortunately. Even with Ignite, she lost. Damn. Okay. okay. Just looking to clear. I'm not looking to E there because I want to hold my E for the next camp since it'll do a large amount of damage to the camp, as you can see. Without the E, this camp would die way slower, so never try to finish your camps with E. Unless it's like a very long walk in between, then I guess you could. But that's something to definitely be careful for. Also E towards the next camp here, so we have the additional damage on this and not on the Gromp, which was already dead. Some small things for Shivana clearing. I don't need to smite right now, because I don't really have a great gank opportunity, so... I mean, mid the bot lane is looking interesting, perhaps. I'm gonna just gonna smite this thing out real quick and probably look bolt as the wave shoves in. Might be doable, maybe. Maybe mid. Yikes. Oh, actually, return kill, return kill. We take a return kill. It's not gonna work, is it? Dude, nah, it's not gonna work. Unfortunate. Oh, they have wards in here, okay. I understand. I'm just gonna take the reset, it's fine. Uh, there's no reason for me to stick around there, because it's just gonna take too long. Do all of this, and we move. Because I need to catch the camp respawn here. This is gonna spawn in the next five, five seconds, so I just need to get this. And then I just clear down towards Drake. I think Camille should be fine, but might ac actually not be fine now. Nah, it's not fine. He's actually just completely dead. Wow. How are these ganks working, man? Like, the Camille's just... I just feel like she's walking into them. Really feel like that's the case here. Because I don't think Evelyn should be getting that type of level of ganks in there. I guess she's just losing top lane badly. Alright, that's going to be interesting for sure. But Eve is wasting a lot of time going for stuff like that, at least. And also, like, kind of chilling here. Might have my... Uh, doesn't have these either. What is she doing? I have, like, a recall advantage over him. That's a mistake, buddy. You're dead now. Don't get hit by that. Okay. 
Wait, where is my mid laner? Can you react, please? What is happening? Why, why is my Victor AFK? Excuse me. What? Dude, he teleported back and did nothing. I got scared there for a second. I I barely couldn't finish the locks because apparently she still had flash as well. But that F if Evelyn should never have fought me in that position because I'm just I already have a recall. I'm stronger than her there. As soon as her charm is gone, she's dead. I'm just surprised my victor did nothing there. Like he just hit the wave and just refused to rotate at all. That's crazy. Those things are very scary though. I need to keep that in mind that he plays like that because that means I have like I basically cannot trust my victor to rotate for anything. Because if you don't rotate for that, like, what are you going to rotate for, you know? So those are, uh, those are important. Okay. Right, let's go Gromp, Bot Scuttle. And I might be able to Dragon after that, but I lost a lot of health in that fight there just now. Very sad luck got away from me there, though. That was close. Right, we finish this. We look for Bot Scuttle slash Dragon. Oh, plant is actually helpful. I think Eve probably does void grubs here, I would imagine. Or just ganks bolt, but I'm just going to go for dragon here. I'm going to assist ping. Does go void grubs as expected, okay. So I just go finish Drake. Obviously, like, I get priority here for the extra resistance and stuff. I can play bolt here. Still have ult, so, or I have ult now, so. I should go for Eve's bot side cam since she just did the. Uh... Whoa! What is this? What is. Oh, no way. Why do you have flash? Ah, uh, well, she's gonna die anyway. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. I thought she was going to go back into that, but she didn't. She just played super aggressive, which I guess is fair enough. I just have to go kill Eve's bot side camps now. She's going to take my top side. She pretty much already took my top side, I think. So just all of her bot side camps are mine. We go for these quickly. My Camille is one in five. She is just getting absolutely clapped. And it's not even necessarily Eve ganks, I think. It's just her losing. She did my red already. She's going to clear my entire top side here. It is what it is. I'm just gonna have to refuse to go top for the entire game and just play through Bolt and see what I, what, I can, what I can make happen. It's gonna be, gonna be my only play essentially. I do this. I hit level. Uh, hit my ult back, and then I can do something Bolt maybe. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. Huge kills. That was fear that was pretty clean for me. I even interrupted them and everything. Yes, perfect. That's all I needed. I, I saw the Kate ult in the corner of my eye there, and I just knew knew I needed to just hit one skill shot and it would be fine. My entire top side is gone, I already know this information, so that's okay. I'm just gonna push bot third, I think, here. I don't think we can get much more than just this one plate right now. We just have to leave. This is huge for me, though, because I have a lot of gold right now, and I just, you know, I can chill. It's a win. Don't like, don't worry about it, mate. This guy's losing his mental already. This guy cannot stop dying. That's crazy. Eve does whatever she wants. You literally allow it to happen, though. Like, what do you want from me? I have a dragon. I have, like, everything. I don't understand. I don't know why I'm checking my topside camps in the first place. I guess I can try to go for this play. This is going to be a pretty desperate one, but it looks okay here. Like, it actually looks fine here. Or you just got absolutely one shot because you're way too far behind and I die. Never mind. Yeah, I'm dead here. Man, holy Camille, you are literally useless. I shouldn't... Now, this is why I should never have gone top there. Like, I already kind of had the feeling that I was going to go that way. 
and I really shouldn't have walked for it and tried it. I thought it was doable because I thought Renekton Ultimate would be down, considering, like, yeah, the situations, but this Camille does nothing. And I mean nothing but int. Yeah, this is just not gonna happen. This isn't looking bad. I need to run bolt as fast as possible here. Because I think the enemy is going to be there sec in any second now. I do need one camp for the level up. So I'm quickly going to take that. And then we move. Okay. I guess that's fine. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try. That's such a massive slow, by the way. Ah, uh, damn it, it timed out. Dude, that luck slow is insane. I, th I mean, we're just going to get destroyed on top here. This Camille is, like, getting massively gapped. I don't think the Eve... Like, I mean, Eve Ganks may have done something, but she just lost, like, a level 2 fight against the Renekton with an Ignite advantage. So that is just a problem in and of itself. Very close to, like, cleaning up bolts. I'm pretty strong. We'll see how this game turns out. It's going to be an interesting one. Because Renekton needs to bring this home, though. Probably shouldn't have allowed those Void Grubs, to be honest. Because Renekton has the split push advantage, and those Void Grubs are strong for that. Okay, I might be able to make a top play happen here, actually. It is going to cost me Dragon, but I think it'd be worth if I can kill the Renekton for a thousand gold. It's over for them. They lose the game. So this is actually going to be the play I have to go for. And hopefully I can get the kill. Basically what it comes down to. No way he lives. No way he lives. Are you kidding me? Oh, my team is useless, by the way. Yeah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. How does Renekton survive that, man? That's crazy. Wow. That Q heal was insane. I have to give it to him, but... Okay, right, Caitlyn's gonna just walk past me, okay? I'm... I'm sad. Like, the fact that he survives that is insane to me. Crazy. <laughs> that just means my team has literally no damage, because otherwise he, he just basically had to be dead there. There is no way. I need to do Dragon here and just hope for the best. If Eve shows up now, I'm... Oh, Eve is actually dead. We're chilling. Tristana's gonna show up, though, so I might be dead anyway, but Dragon is Dragon. I hit this as well. Dude, you knocked me back as I was about to EU for the kill shot, really? Dude, I'm getting absolutely owned this game, eh? By, by RNG here. I see. Well, I mean, I got the dragon, I'm happy. I, I made sure to time my E with the jump from Tristana, so I hit the E on dragon and Trist at the same time. To try to make something happen. I'm just gonna go top as fast as I can now and hope I can make something happen here as well. Gonna go hunting, guys. I need, to, I need to try to get this kill. If I can get the Renekton kill even just once, it's over for the enemy team. That is a thousand gold shutdown. Ah, she's already dead, I think. Yes. She just did that. Is he gonna go for the dive? Ignite him? Really? I need to wait. No, please. I need this kill. I need this kill, please. Huge. That's a massive kill. Does she have ult? She doesn't. We're chilling. I can't chase anything here. Okay. Playable. Playable for sure. That is the biggest kill I could have gotten. That's an entire Leandris right there. That doesn't even do any damage, what? Okay, I got a lot more scared than I probably should have. Yeah, he's not gonna get it. I need to reset here. Leandri's finished. Okay, hitting level 11 will be huge now, so we're gonna clear my bot side cams. One in nine. She is half CS on the top laner. I mean, the good thing here is Renekton is going pure damage, so he's actually gonna be a relatively easy kill. Because just pure damage, no survivability is actually good for me here. Hit the level up from this. I should have smited it. I was hesitating. 
I hesitated and I should have smited it. I regret that decision. I don't know why I hesitated even. I really should have just smited it. That's just a kill, right? Wow. Really? Caitlyn does no damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm not happy about hesitating for that smite. That's okay. I'm not going to try to contest the Tristana here. If she wants to be there to like do this, that's okay with me, actually. My team just gets a push. Probably feel like I should reset here. I'm going to go back. Okay, get my boots upgrades into these. If we can just like collapse Renekton and kill him in one hit, that would be amazing. The best thing Camille can do right now is just build healing reduction, I think. Oh no. He's dead. It's gonna be a Herald mid. Hey, you're gonna be dead here, buddy. Exactly. Those things are worth because every single kill we get on him is a large amount of XP. You have to realize he is super far ahead in XP right now. So these are th these things are huge. Okay. I think that hit the locks. That should be big damage. Yes, it hit the locks. Big damage. I need to do these camps now for my dragon form. I'm trying to auto-attack as much as possible, not use as many skills as possible, because I need to get my dragon form back desperately. And this is currently extremely important. Guess I'll get the bolt wave here. I'm still up on dragons, so if we can play for those for the rest of this game, that should be doable. Renekton is starting to lose because he is trolling, so that's very good as well. I'm looking pretty strong, honestly. Oh, uh, use the portal, I guess. I saw where that came from, so I might actually be able to get the locks here. I apparently filled my flash over the wall. I'm not happy about that. I need to just speed run the dragon at this point. Camille is actually doing pretty well holding herself under turret at the moment. But that was a very clean pickoff for me on the back line. Got two of them. The flash, on the other hand, I should have had that killed on the locks, but I didn't. But I just rushed dragon. It's fine. It's okay. I'm just gonna call that a good job holding top for the most part. She, she's doing pretty well. That death doesn't matter. She is holding top very well still, regardless of how far she is behind. I'm gonna have to rotate on this Tristana here. I need to pick the smart direction and just go this way. Hit the plant as well. And that's just one death. Two deaths, perfect. I prioritize hitting the plant there because I uh, obviously don't want that to ha like don't want him to get out. They're kind of stuck around in the bat spot and they just all die. I got hit by that, that's an unfortunate one. It's pretty good damage. Don't know where Eve is. Dude, how is this legal? How did my team let that happen? I'm so sad. I mean, at least the guy dies, but that's so depressing because right here, they were pretty much on top of a slash next to me and they still allowed the Eve to run me down there. He doesn't have ult, so this is a free play. It's, I'm not the worth the most shutdown right now, so it's okay, but that's still frustrating as hell. Like that, my team literally allows them to walk past there. Crazy. I mean, overall worthwhile. Very good. Very, very good team. Go, Baron. Go, Baron. It's a free Baron, please. Please. It's literally a Baron. What do you mean? How is that not a Baron? It's literally a Baron. Go, Baron. Team. 
What is this? How are you not doing Baron here? Oh my god, this is mental. I don't know if we can get the Baron now. That was that was literally disgusting. The Baron should have been 20% now. Like, not even kidding. Yeah, this is disgusting, really. Okay, fair enough. My team is trolling. My team is literally trolling. He's dead. That's good. I would love to finish Baron, please, please, please. Oh my god, you are something else, guys. I'm scared. I'm very scared. This was, like, so, so risky for no reason. They just all walked past Baron. I am so mind-blown. Holy moly, guys. <laughs> no way. I mean, we got it. I'm happy, but dear god. What? Yo, you are on, you are on drugs. <laughs> How I have to carry this, he says. Yes, apparently so. Crazy. I... <laughs> Uh, we got Baron, I'm happy. It's fine. Interesting. <laughs> yes, Victor, you carry. Good job. Oh, Victor. I did nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm just along for the ride, you know? I wonder if they're gonna face check the Victor at any point. Oh, what is that bloody block, by the way? Oh, we need to go bolt here, actually. Get the stun there, move down towards Renekton right now. Look at that, my damage! Look at my damage! That dude got deleted, by the way. Move towards the Victor as fast as I possibly can. He might actually die to burn damage already. I am very quick, so I will see if I can try to make it. That's a hit on my E at least. This guy should be dead. Or you flash after that. Really? Really? And the slow is ridiculous as well. Look at that. Dead, right? Nope. I missed. Does she have it? You had the shield from Lux. My god, really? Okay. Mm, my bad. I chased. I probably shouldn't have chased. Sucks. Like, the Lux got away with one, and then she got it. Like, the Evelyn got a shield from Lux, which allowed Evelyn to survive as well. <laughs> The combination of that, man. So unfortunate. Uh, we go Cosmic Drive here for sure. I'll get the movement speed. Could have gone for the one... You literally didn't even see what happened, did you, Victor? Ah, whatever. It's fine. Don't go too quick. Don't go too quick. Don't wait on my smite, please. Okay, we're just gonna portal in. It should be a catch on the Tristana. It really should be. I need to do blue. I need to hit level... I need to not hit level 16. I need to hit the dragon form. Got it. They got the push here, really? Oh, no. I'm gonna loop in from behind, not recall, because I'm fast enough. They do get an inhibitor, but Drake's soul is worth it. I think this guy's going for red buff. Not going for red buff, okay. Okay. I didn't think he was going to be strong enough to beat me in a 1v1 and he wasn't, so it's fine. Relatively close, I would say, but definitely not close enough. Unfortunately, they did get the inhib there, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it's worthwhile trading that for the Dragon Soul. I am not don't mind that too much. It's gonna go shove top here, because my Dragon Form is gonna end, and the rest of my team has the other push anyway, so I just want to push in top all the way here as well. My damage is very high on this. I can easily get, like, two turrets here, all they have to respond to the rest of the map. And this allows me to get my dragon form back as well. Uh, Eve could one-shot me. I do have to respect that a little bit. There is Eve. 
just gonna run as fast as I can from this guy. Brom's rotation was a little bit slow there. But it's okay. I do have to respect even that position. I didn't have Dragon Form and she does have one-shot potential on me. Like, I can't disrespect that too much. Her build's not very good, but she does have that one-shot potential. Oh, he just did, walks forward, okay. That doesn't matter. Doesn't do anything. That's not gonna kill me, I don't think. Just hit the turret. Oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead, okay. Good exhaust, thank you. I now can no longer run forward, though. They need to be careful here. I mean, I, I can't stick around there, basically. Like, whatever they do here is up to them. Uh, I can't be a, around much longer. I got focused by Eve's burst. Okay, all I do now is get my dragon form back off of a couple camps and then play for the Baron when it spawns. I still have the dragon control completely for Drake Souls and everything. Like, we're winning this game. Pretty interesting team, but we're still winning the game. I'm happy to eventually listen to the, uh, to the Baron call, you know, eventually, barely in time, but yeah. Just got a Baron. I might actually have to rotate for this Renekton because he's playing super aggressive right now and he's just dead. Okay, no problem. I don't want to lose my XP. Uh, please just Baron, man. Just, can we just please? What is happening here then? Just take the objective and win the game. If Brom tanks it for me, it'll be okay. I can do it, but he needs to stand in melee range properly. Whoever tanks the Baron does 50% less damage to the Baron, so I really need to make sure that it's not me. My team is completely griefing. They should really be just playing for the objective, but they're just like doing whatever this is. Right, there's the objective. Good. Dead. Okay. I was about to ult for that, but it didn't look necessary. I guess I'll just help push top lane or something. Two people bolt, yeah, that's just a top turret, okay. I am super quick. Question I need to ask myself here is, do I actually need a Cosmic Drive or a, a, a Void Staff or something? Wait, what is... Okay. Oh, that's a Renekton on bot. That's a Tristana over here. That's a dead Tristana. Goodbye. Currently in dragon form, so I'm kind of chilling. How are you both one health? Oh, come on. Aw. Dude, the Lux was literally one health. If I get the kill on Lux there, I'm actually kind of chilling because I got a Triumph proc. I mean, it still doesn't matter. I think my team ends the game off that regardless, but still, yeah, it kind of sucks. Um, do I need magic pen? I don't, do I? Okay, that's just a Lich Bane lost item here then. I could sell my boots at the end for something, but it's just a Lich Bane now. Team should be able to hit turrets here. Kind of chilling. They used a lot of cooldowns, cooldowns on me. Very sad I missed the Lux by one health, and then that kind of snowballed there, because if I get the Triumph Fuel, I think I might actually kill Eve. This is not terrible. It's just a dragon on spawn into end thing. I don't think it should be a problem. The enemy team can't really get it because I'm going to be alive soon enough for this to be fine. So I should be chilling. Just go out of base, use the portal. Don't have the money for this, unfortunately, but that's going to have to be fine. As long as I don't let them get the elder, it should be good. I do kind of want to reset again before I actually like go for the end game push because a one item completion is quite big here. That's mine, thank you. I smell fear. Obviously, you gotta play for this dragon. I'm a little bit worried about it, I'm not gonna lie, just a little bit. Because they could technically try to rush it. Got an item. Just don't start the dragon, please. Don't int, don't die. 
Please wait on my, me and Victor. I need the back there because the item is actually massive. And Victor wasn't going to be there anyway, so I'm not really looking to fight. He's into that. Perfect. This hits. That kills. Sidestep that. Walk onto, the, onto this guy and finish him off as well. Perfect. That's GG. Just run it down mid. That's fight over. That's why I wanted Lich Bane, because Lich Bane gives me insane burst. Can you stop body blocking me, please, Braum? Holy moly. <laughs> yeah, we just move at uh, a large amount of movement speed here and we're chilling. Perfect. That's why I backed for Lich Bane. Exactly. There you go. That was it for Shivana. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you didn't make sure the like button below, it helps you out quite a bit. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the endgame stats. All right, so for the end game stats here, I ended up doing 41.8k uh, damage, which is the most. Victor actually ended up doing a decent amount, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Renekton lost a lot. <laughs> uh, true damage to champions at 1200, uh, at 8700 for Camille, of course. Objective damage at 64.2k. The biggest win factor for me this game was just this objective control. Like I had most of it for the dragons, like getting that dragon control was huge. And it ended up working out very, very nicely for me. But 64k is a huge amount. Also, like, the Baron call and everything made a big difference. My team didn't initially want to do it, but eventually they luckily did. Uh, healing done at 20k. Uh, damage taken at 49k, which is the most. Self-mitigated another 34 as well. It's just a very good carry on my end, really. Uh, gold earned at 18.5. For the runes, press the attack, dealt 2,000 damage. Uh, it's just easily the best rune you can go for. Uh... Triumph for 2600 HP, extra gold, haste for the ability haste, cut down for the... Uh, you want cut down now instead of anything else because cut down works better with your E poke. Uh, you get the E to land above 50%, it's consistent poke, you can just throw it in fights and the cut down is going to do a lot of value for this. It's just going to burst them out, chunk them out harder, and then they're going to decide to recall faster or anything like that. It's going to be more difficult to fight, so cut down is the best, 1600 extra damage. A Gathering Storm for extra AP, Transcendence for the uh, ability haste, flat ability haste it gives, not necessarily the seconds refunded, although they are relatively nice, but just more so the 10 flat it gives, and yeah, it's just a very high ability haste setup. At the end here, you can sell the boots for, it's just another item, really, you can do Crypt Bloom if you want, uh, you can do, yeah, I probably would go Crypt Bloom here, usually speaking, you can go Banshees or Zonias as well, if that, if that is necessary, or against the very tanky stuff, you even could go Riftmaker if you'd like. But yeah, that is it for Shiv. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.